Now, it was dream that took Joseph to the prison from his brother. When Joseph entered into the prison, the spirit that will make him wealthy connected him to people, not himself. Take note. Joseph did not dream again when he got to the prison because his dream has ended. His dream was only to, for, to have his brothers to take him there. Ah. Is anybody hearing me? Yes, sir. When he got to the place, it was not him that would dream again. It is those in position to help him that the dream had to transfer to. It came to pass. It was this uh, fellow prisoners that dreamt. So when the guy entered into the palace of Pharaoh, the spirit still entered in the palace of Pharaoh. Yes. And this time it was the president himself who had the dream. Why are you troubled? King, don't worry. I have somebody. One Hebrew child. One Hebrew young guy. This guy gave me accurate interpretation. He told me you will restore me. And you did according to his interpretation. The king said, what? We have that such man here. Yes. Bring him. Uh -huh. Look at what happened. He said, when you go to bring him, remove the prisoner's clothes from him. Shave him. Uh -huh. Clean him up. Put my gold chain on him. Uh -huh. Put my golden signet on him. That means discharge and acquitted. That means presidential pardon. Uh -huh. When he appeared, he was taken to the presidential villa by the presidential motorcade. Uh -huh. When he arrived at the villa, the president said, are you the one, young chap? I thought he's an old man. Fine boy, come, stand it. Is it true that you interpret him? He said, well, sir. Look at this. Take note of this. He said, no. Does interpretation not belong to God? That's what he says. So he understands that that dimension was not him. It was the spirit that was helping him. Yes, sir. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6, he says, not, neither by power, neither is it by might, but by my spirit. As soon as that happens, he gave him accurate interpretation. He said, you must look for people. And then he gave solution. He said, you must look for men that are worthy, discreet, discipline, noble men. You put them in charge for these first seven years of harvest so that they will go everywhere and build warehouses, stores, get all the empty one and, you know, pack it up for the next seven years of famine. The king said, who else will be in charge if not you? The spirit has already moved him. And from that moment, he became the prime minister Became the minister in charge of economy. Oh, yes. Became the minister of finance. Uh -huh. He was a powerful minister. Holding about four or three portfolio at the same time. He was in charge of economy. Uh -huh. He was in charge of their finance. He was in charge of everything that had to do with all the resources in that land. Oh, yes. So he is, he is beyond minister of petroleum. Uh -huh. He is beyond minister of agri. It was like when Tunde Fashola was... The former governor of Lagos State was in charge of three ministry. But this one is even more powerful because this one is a prime minister. That was how God elevated him. Why? God connected him to men of influence. Take note, he did not try to take advantage. He added to their life and God also used them to bless him. Some of you, you just got connected to people today. Ah, this man is rich. The next thing you are thinking is how to steal, how to collect his money, how to blackmail him. How to look for something to tie him down. Those don't bring wealth. Wealth are spiritual.